Channel Mammals. I was working on a project here and I just thought, oh, I just have to stop and show you what I'm doing. It's a very short video, hopefully, and it'll just be a, a chance to show you an idea in progress. Okay, well, here's the thing. We had, well, we'll show you the whole problem inside here. Here's Bob. Meet Bob. Hello. <laughs> we call him Staten Island Bob or the King of Staten Island. He won the crown um, at our epiphany party. So um, his wife said, I'm never going to keep him, you know, humble now, <laughs> now that he's king <laughs> of Staten Island. But he comes and helps Yankee, which is just amazing. He's, he's the kind of guy that can just do everything. So here's what we're doing. Well, first of all, do you have one of those uh, a really bad looking? Yeah, the knobs. Okay, these knobs were on our shower here, the rain locker. You know, we call it the rain locker on a, on a ship. And see, can you see how pitted they are if you come up really close and look with your eyeballs? You see, they get all crummy because they're white metal. It's just a really low grade of metal and it invite and then chrome over it. And those two metals are yeah, they're incompatible. Yeah, they're not compatible. The electrolysis happens and then you get a corrosion that fuses together. Yeah. And see, it would also hold on to all the residue and we couldn't clean them and ugh, it was just awful and then these stupid little plastic pop in things everything was just so bad and then these were the cartouches on the wall behind them with a the pipe well we we wanted to change them out so I went to the hardware stores you know the big hardware stores and they had almost no selection and they were so ugly. They were the same. It's like they never stopped making these knobs. And these must be from, what, 50s or 60s? Yeah, yeah. And, and the actual brass parts here are from, we don't know how long ago. We, they don't ever make them out of brass anymore. But look, this is the center one. This one, you would think, would turn on a tub, right? Yeah, Usually. that's a diverter. But, um, but what it does is somewhere behind this wall, um, this turns on the water, but no water comes out until you turn on the hot and cold water. So that's how they work as a team. And so we went to our favorite um, plumbing supplier. It's this old plumbing house. It's tiny, and you have to climb up and down little steps and rises because it was just built over the shape of the earth. And it has all wooden floors and little wooden um, Cupboard, uh, cubbies where all the different plumbing parts are and big long rods and it's just wonderful and the men were so wondering what we were doing and so we Danny has already met Bob. <laughs> Danny, who? Danny Shower from uh, Waters Plumbing Supply. Danny Shower is your last name? Yeah. And you ended up in a plumbing supply? Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Did, Coincidence, is, right? <laughs> Isn't that great? It's like the Outer Bridge, Mr. Outer Bridge. Mm -hmm. made a bridge. Oh, you're kidding. His yeah, name, name is Outer, Outer Bridge? bridge. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that, I just think that's amazing. I can't believe it. I'm learning things every day. Well, anyway, here's this big thing, and they dumped all these out on the counter. And said, okay, take your pick. <laughs> and these are called gate knobs. Gate, uh, gate handles. Gate handles for, for opening the gate of the water gate. Gate, valve. gate valves. The valves mm -hmm. for the gate valves. For the gate which keeps the water from... Yeah, just regular standard gate yeah. valves. So right. this is a little... Yeah. So these, a... these are handles for these gate valves. Right. But you use them for a different purpose. You use them for the shower now. Right, right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we were pawing through all these things. And that's when we got fascinated with the different shapes, you know, and sizes. And 
and different periods of time and everything, but then we realized that they were all too big. So the ones we chose, look at this, this would really be impressive, right? But it would, <laughs> you would never be able to turn that on. So Paul, where's our, I just want to show um, what we showed. This is what we, we showed them that we had, right? Yep. When we first no came, we showed, picked out. we showed these um, White metal, frozen horrible things. And, and that's what, what we swapped, swapped it out for. Look at the difference. Like, that is so awesome. And look at that one. Look at that with the, I mean, look at the design. The way, you know, they thought about, they didn't need to do that. Oh, well, people back then took pride in their work. Yes. It's so true. And oh, I just, I just think each one of them is so precious. Look at this one now. What does that say on there? That was the name of the people who made it? Correct. This is a company, a valve company. What's it called? Powell. 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 Wow. Anyway, we just wanted you to come to Waters. And you know, this was named after someone named Waters. Waters, yeah. This, but it's not this, spelled the same as no. W-A-T-E-R. It's W-A-T-T. -E E-R. And they started a plumbing. Correct. They're the There's first another original, example. The original of a, original And then they had to pass supply. it on to Mr. Showers. <laughs> <laughs> this, this this place has been around for almost 120 years now. Uh -huh. 120 years. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I'm so proud of people that can keep businesses that long. Yeah. I think it was established back in um, 1902, I believe. When did you? No, Yankee, Yankee, Yankee started in 1907, the ship mm -hmm. that we have. That's, this is it. Nice. So. When did you come along? Or how did you uh, end up here? Almost 10 years now. Are you uh, so I'm the third owner. Only the third owner? Third owner. <coughs> and are you from Staten Island? Mm -hmm. Can you speak Staten Island? <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and also they say, oh, Bob is really good at Staten Island. <laughs> Staten Island? Yeah. <laughs> you got to explain to the public. He says it where it's one... One word. One word. Staten Island. 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 <laughs> you know how Staten Island got its name? No. When the Dutch were coming over here and uh, they first saw land, they said, is that land over there? And they said, no, that's an island. Oh, that's an island? And the guy said, yeah. Well, what are we going to name it? Staten Island. Really? Like Staten Island? Staten Island? Staten Island. Staten Island? <laughs> So, is that an island? Yeah, right. <laughs> is that an island? <laughs> anyway, so this was this was our our time here, and I want I wanted to show it to you all because I just love how um, what it's like working together with people who work with these beautiful objects every day, year in and year out, and just somehow by us all shining our thought on it together it it comes alive and it also becomes something else it it, it transcends its you know constraints of a, only one purpose and one situation hidden usually these, these are hidden right yeah. <laughs> they're never meant to be seen. seen or they get thrown away with the valve once they're done yeah well, sometimes we like just like you said we, such workmanship and craft to it that's just so it's a shame to throw them away yeah and so here they are for us to find and there's always a use for it right? yeah and you know those two lads that were here before yeah i could see their gears turning that they were thinking of this in a more proud oh yeah for sure way. and it's not because of us it's really because of all of us coming together and you and know what he, he this place we used you, before back in um like in the 1800s, this used to be a market, Port Richmond, and this used to be a stable for the horses. They uh -huh. would park, they would park their stables in the barnyards back then, and then go into the market for their groceries and oh, stuff. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then if you look across the street, there used to be the public bathroom for the whole town. It was right across the street. Oh, that's hmm. where all those arches are. Correct. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. <coughs> hmm. Incredible. The history is amazing. And Bob lives in a house from the 17. It was made, they said, in the early 1700s in uh, Simonson Place. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
there used to be a gatehouse for uh, an estate up the hill, and it was added on to, and it was like people, uh, the grooms they call them. It was a great gatehouse, and uh, there was some mansion up the hill that's long gone, but that house is still there, and people added on to it over the years. It turned into a house that you could live in, instead of just being a gatekeeper's house. Oh. Yeah, cobblestone driveway, you stick a wall all the way up the hill, you can see in the back of the garage, it used to go up for the yeah. yeah. property. And then there's Yankee hidden away. Nobody knows she's here. You guys should come over. We will. We'll, and I'm see gonna, her. we'll come. We'll come this Friday. Oh, great! Friday yeah. we'll come by. And I would love for you. To, I'd love for you to come, sir, too, because you love seeing this ship. I mean, I mean, I wish it was. I wish it was never changed. But at the same time, the changes are Sometimes part of her story. It's a story, right? It's the whole must. thing. And we're part of her story, too. Correct. I mean, she was going to be just... Um, she would just be scrapped by now, for right. sure. Right. All the other ferry boats from um, from um, uh, Ellis Island were scrapped. Mm -hmm. and well, right now, that the, the Staten Island ferries are are being sold. N now they're mm -hmm. being... No, the Kennedy, the Kennedy just got yeah. sold. Do, do you know what it's going to be? It's going to be a comedy club. I heard. I think that's a great use yeah. for it. Because anything that can make a lot of money is very helpful for the ship. Correct. And we that's what we but don't that's have. A, that's a long project still. That's going to be like oh. a great like oh, four huge. or five years. But it's going to go into Cadell's. I heard, yeah. So he'll take care of it. Steve, he oh, loves they, old they, vessels. They, they, they took care of that ferry for ages. Oh, they have already. Yeah. They, know the boat. they have the, they have the um, dry dock just specially for the ferries. Hmm. I wish Yankee could be cared for like that. We just don't have the income to take it. Finances for her. Yeah. But you know, that's why I, that's why actually I just want whoever, someone to come along who can take her and all the way revive, through. Revive it a little bit. Yeah. I mean, we're doing what we can with our own hands and what we find, mm. but it needs to have deeper, you know, more, Overwhelming more. So, I mean, we keep it, and we take it to dry dock when we're supposed to. But right. Anyway, well, it was great. Thank you so much, no Danny. <laughs> Let's help put these back in the bucket here. Okay. And... a little bit but we didn't and then we took a photo because we had to go back there again because we had three big knobs like this instead of those silly knobs and um and they were th three different knobs they were really pretty but they were different yeah and so now we got we had to get they were too big they were touching imagine three knobs this size they would they were just overlapping each other so we couldn't have used them so we went back and we showed them a photo of just this. If you come in here really close to my channel animals, you can see this is a, what do you call this, Bob? This plastic thing, rubber thing? That's a Lovejoy connector. A Lovejoy, it's like a vibration damper for equipment that works to uh, take the shock load out of a drive device, like a pump to a motor. Right, and doesn't it have something to do with water also, or no? It could be, it would be used on a pump mostly, yeah. Right. So that right. if it would seize up, it would, it would break that, that coupling before it would break the equipment. Yeah, so we had some quite a lot of these because we we use them in some of our lamp designs and we just had some odd ones and then look this also we had this beautiful brass threaded piece and this piece and this piece and this nut and then we had this cartouche in the center here. Can you see it in that light? Can you? <laughs> you can? Yeah. It's kind of pretty. And it's really thick brass. So now this can turn the water on and off. But we had to go back. And this, we couldn't get this off no matter how hard we tried. And we were afraid we were going to break something. Bob tried everything. He tried heating up the pipes. What else did you try, Bob? Oh, it's penetrating oil, turning it. And when I started turning it, it appeared that which it was removing the whole internal works of the fixture because water started to come out. So we put it back in place. So we right have to up. keep this trashy piece of 
Yeah. It's not white metal, this isn't. No, that's, uh, brass. that's plated brass. Yeah, this is um, plated brass, but it's still all pitted. Like, you could snag your fingers yeah. on it. But it doesn't matter because, and these were the, these, I call these cartridges. I don't know what you, what else do you call these? Um, oh, what are those things called that I said we could use? Um, oh, the doorknob flange. No, no, the flange. You know, for uh, like um, a steel pipe, a flange. But we couldn't get this. We, we could have gotten flanges for this. Hmm? We could have got flanges for this. Uh, flanges. Well, we have these flanges. I know, but I was so just thinking. We could have, instead of these, because we can't take the pipe, but we can take the flange, and we can get a flange that's this size. That's this size, and it would look. I think it would look great. Well, anyway, we had these. These are these are brass. They're not po polished up or anything, but it doesn't matter because and it has some red paint on or something. It comes right off of my fingers. What could that be? Anyway, they need to be cleaned up, and then. Is that how these would? We, yeah, don't you we're feel, come I, up with I feel like we need something. On there. I think we need. What, what else could we use? Something we can hammer on. We could probably use. I'm thinking a rubber O-ring would hold. An O-ring, yes. I have a bunch of O-rings. Yes, we'll do all that. All sizes. Okay, so we'll use O-rings, and then you see these will go on here. That we have a way of um, making them stay on. That a piece that fits in here and Here's grabs. Here's a spline adapter. Yeah, you want to show them the ones we have? Yeah, here is a spline adapter here. Yeah, this is to adapt to this spline. There is one in the, in oh, the yeah. knob right there. So what you have to do, did you carve off the side? Yeah, of these one? were cut down to fit the, the yeah. Uh, he, Oh, yeah, we'll he, he used a, a, bit more. a file out in, the, out in the cargo deck to see how they're shaped to be kind of... Um, they're tapered. Tapered. Because the holes are tapered. You see, look at... Oh, no, they're not... Yeah, they are. See how the hole is big on the back side and small on the front side? So it has to be fit in there. So this will go... Should I put this one... Dare I put this one on? Probably not. No, not yet. So this will go on here. And see, then there's room to, to turn these knobs. However you want to turn them. <laughs> With your pinky finger. And... And then, um, and then the three sets will look really handsome. They'll be. I'm just showing it to you now, even though it's not finished. If you, hey Bob, if you uh, get back against the wall, now he can see it. If the light can come through. Oh, if I, if I. If you move, no, you keep the. You, okay. yeah, just stand. Oh, you can just stand there. Yeah, see, now you can see it better, right? Then you can see this cartouche, and you can see everything better. And then these are. These are like a match set. Before, they were three different shapes. But this is going to be very handsome, I think. And it's so much better than that awful thing that doesn't suit Yankee. And this is like turning the valves. You never know, you know, what might be happening. And I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> because it's not the kind of thing that everybody's allowed to touch usually. Don't touch that valve is what you hear when you see a valve like that. <laughs> okay. Well, um, my friends... You got to be in a, a little tiny, teeny project that we just are finishing up here today. Actually, we need to do, you know what? When I take it, I'll take, I'll take um, a little movie of this after it's finished, but you see how it's all chipped away around top of that? I think I'm going to find some more hardware to put around that so it looks better. This uh, shower um, nozzle or whatever they call it. Okay, my channel mammals, I came back to show you how we've progressed in this little project. Um, this is how I hang out in the, in the, uh, rain locker. <laughs> um, up here, remember there was a big crack of, um, of tile. And so I found this washer. This is called a washer. Some people aren't used to that term. It's, it's interesting. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with washing. <laughs> it, it has to do with, um, supporting a bolt. Um, or a nut so that it doesn't, um, it spreads its pressure out. And so this is a very large washer that are used in, in very big industrial situations. And then this little beautiful brass piece that we happen to have that was part of our work with lamps and so forth. And then we used a um, hose clamp. If you look very closely, you'll see the little ridges of a hose clamp right here. And I put a little piece of rubber under there 
so that when Bob tightened it on, he tightened it on, it would grab that, that rubberiness and have something to really press hard onto. Because being that those are built for hoses, that little clamp, it needs to have some rubberiness to really give it all of its strength and pressure. So that will never move, and it didn't have to be glued into place. It could just be treated as if it was a piece of the plumbing. And so now the shower head has a, a little, a nice entrance into the rain locker. And then you never did get to see this all completed. But um, these are the two uh, knobs, or um, I don't know what you call these things, that we traded out in the little hardware store. And these little um, pewter pieces in the centers here are also from um, some of the uh, containers and so forth that, that Richard and I made when we were working in Italy. And um, these are beautiful pewter pieces that we had specially made for some of the hardware that we needed. And then we, we use them here, and they're perfect for these um, hot and cold faucets. And then, oh, here are two more of the um, uh, hose clamps. So this is a hose clamp, in case you've never... You never knew what it was. It's just a, 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 a band of uh, steel that goes through a little um, channel here, and you tighten down this nut, this uh, bolt, and it just pinches it tight. And see, this is rubber. We put Again, we put a piece of rubber back in here to give it something really hard to squeeze onto. And then these two pieces that I found that I showed you yesterday, we cleaned these up. These are uh, some kind of a nickel, uh, nickel. Um, so they're a very good metal. <laughs> and then we put these ugly things back on, which they kind of look fine now. And they are no harm. And here's that beautiful centerpiece. And then the t now, the, now it's a nice little set. Isn't that pretty? So actually, if we can just swivel around this way, you're all fitting very well in here. Good for you. <laughs> so, oh, here's one of my mending jobs. <laughs> there was a little hole here. And see, this is really fun to see. Because this is, it's, it's stitched on the back side and all around tucked in on the back. And then on the front, it's tucked in around the front side. Anyway, that's off the subject. But you, most of you had seen this before because I did a video about making this. And um, what I wanted to show it to you again because it now now I feel really good about the, the whole rain locker because this, and if you can shift from this with your eyes and then over to this and up to that, you see a kind of harmony between all the elements and how they, they work together for, for Yankee. And the reason I brought you in on this little project in the first place is that um, I know people are always... Um, kind of curious as to how Richard and I um, have have thought about things as as projects come to us and it's hard to explain but if you're right in on the discovery of an idea or a need you'll see how uh, how our gears <laughs> turn how we how we relate to things and how we care about little details which I think most people do but like for many, many years, we just left it the way it was. And then when, after this happened, and then those, um, actually it was our boat boy who said, I've been trying to clean this, the, those little knobs and they just don't clean well. And so we said, well, Matthew, let's think about changing them out. And of course the first natural um, decision was to go to the hardware store and see what they had. Um, I don't like to go shopping because those kinds of things I know are expensive. But then, when this whole new idea came to me to use um, hardware from what would be used right here on Yankee, and I did, I had some of these kinds of um, faucet knobs that are used for turning things on and off all over the ship, and we actually didn't have the right ones, so we went to this little hardware store we know, and um, and they had so much fun dumping things all over the counter for us. We had so much fun with them discovering things and uh, and you know that inspired them as well t just amazingly these fellows were so proud to be a part of this project and 
that influences their home, not their home house, but their own sense of um, their expression, you know, and also their appreciation for what they're handling every day, all day long, to, to look at it with new eyes. And th these, these kinds of things bring joy to the world. <laughs> and they're not, it's not intentional. It's not to, um, to be contrived or to change people or make people think a certain way. <laughs> it just naturally happens just by interacting. And everybody's a part of it then. And it's not um, in a pedantic way. It's just in a natural way. We're all a bunch of kids trying to build a tree fort. And the whole world becomes our, uh, our access. So here we are in the rain locker together on Yankee, <laughs> discovering very important information of thought that we can apply to all of our experiences. You, you won't be changing the knobs in your shower or your rain locker, possibly ever, <laughs> but something else will come to thought. And there's where we're coming together. So my channel mammals, how would you like to try out what it's like taking a shower in Yankee's rain locker? Let's see how it works. Oh, it's great. <laughs> okay, are you all fresh and clean? 